Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick update on TD Jakes. Last week, one week ago today, he had a medical emergency at his church while giving the benediction. He was rushed off to the hospital and now he said he's addressing the congregation this week and he said he had to have emergency surgery. But he's grateful, he's thankful that he is still here and he's also grateful for all the prayers that everybody, for all of those people that were praying for him. So let me go ahead and share a screen and we'll hear the message that he gave to his church today. I'm grateful for this season in my life. I, I just wanted to, I told you last Sunday that I'd see you this Sunday. And so here I am. I am uh, grateful to God for his goodness and his mercy his grace. Uh, many of you don't realize that you're looking at a miracle. Uh, I faced a life-threatening uh, calamity, was rushed to the ICU unit, uh, had emergency surgery, uh, survived the surgery. Yeah, I'm, I'm back. And uh, the doctor wants me to go slow coming back, <laughs> but I'm but I'm back and I'm grateful to God for his goodness and his mercy and to not just our local church, but to to the globalness. I'm grateful for this season in my life. I, I just wanted to I told you last Sunday that I'd see you this Sunday. And so here I am. I am uh, grateful to God for his goodness and his mercy and his grace. Uh, many of you don't realize that you're looking at him to, to take care of yourself. Sometimes those of us who are busy taking care of other people uh, neglect ourselves. And that's very true. But, but I had just had a complete physical and, and I was fine. Uh, the truth of the matter is sometimes things happen and uh, they are beyond our control, and sometimes things happen in this spiritual warfare. I haven't deduced uh, the finality of all of that, but what I do know is greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. global community that follows this ministry, I'm grateful to you, and I want to challenge you. I, I started to say, uh, to, to take care of yourself. Sometimes those of us who are busy taking care of others so let me stop there and when he actually came out of the hospital um he did have a message also let me just go to that really quickly and then we'll talk all the people who prayed oh God. all the people who texted all the people who had prayer vigils, all the people were concerned and sent love and sent notes. Just grateful. Thank you. Didn't have to turn out this way. Just grateful. Not afraid to die. I don't want to hurt my kids and the people who love me. The church needs me. The world who called me, the God who sent me. Sometimes it just got to be grateful. We're not doing this good. <laughs> Here we so are. Grateful. Hey, Tyson. Grateful. Let me just. Um um, turn that off because we heard the whole message and I'll just read what he wrote here. Serving God's people is an extraordinary privilege and Sunday was no exception as I gave all, gave my all in delivering the message God placed on my heart. Even when I'm sensed the weight of my humanity and pushed through nothingness, I'm reminded that even the strongest must rely on his strength and he's meaning God. I give thanks unto the Lord that I did not have a stroke. However, the event could have been fatal. If, I weren't, if it weren't for God's intervention. A special thank you to God and the medical professionals in our city whose speed and expertise were beyond exceptional. My job is to recuperate and reflect on God's protection. I owe it to my amazing family and church members to rest 
and remunerate as he restores me towards his service. As God calls us to honor the Sabbath, I'm reminded the rest is not a weakness. It's a divine gift. While I continue to be strengthened by his grace, I stand in awe of my family and the tremendous leadership team that surrounds me. Together we press forward steadfast in the work the Lord has set before us. I heard from friends and fr friends from the global community who expressed God's love in ways that were astonishing. God's faithfulness was unmistakable to all those present. I'm forever humbled by your outpouring of love and support. I will always give my best. May his presence continue to guide and sustain you and provide peace and protection over you all. Listen, guys, I do agree with him. We got to take care of ourselves. Some of us um, really and truly, we take care of everyone else and we kind of neglect ourselves. I'm glad all is well. I'm glad that they found it in time and that he survived. Listen, we all fall short of God. And we all have to answer to whatever it is we did or did not do. Guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on TD Jake saying he did not have a stroke, um, did have to have emergency surgery, and he's grateful and thankful for all of those people that prayed for him, that sent him a message and a note. And yes, he needs to rest. Sometimes, listen, guys, if we're running, 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 and we don't give our body the pop proper sleep that it needs, we will get shut down, either by cold, the flu, whatever. Your body knows how to say, okay, you're tripping. I need rest. And it will take you down one way or the other so you can get the rest that you really, really need. Take care of yourselves, guys. Chat with me. I'll chat back. Don't forget, hit that like button and I'll see you on the next video.